All right, so here's the deal. I know I'm about as late as some of you have his periods. I understand that I'm making this video on, what is it, Thursday, August 10th of 2017, right? So I'm watching the third episode of Love and Hip Hop Hollywood season four. Now, I know, I know, I know it came on a Monday, but I've been busy smashing some of my haters' mothers. Now hear me out, Jesus. So I'm watching it, and a fight ensues between some Farb, some fine-ass Redbone named Jade, and Brooke Valentine of Girl Fight fame. And as they're arguing, Chanel West Coast jumps in the argument and in so many words says, you know, Jade is half black, but she's whiter than I am. She's not gangster. I'm gangster. Now, something like that would go over a lot of people's heads. They would say, well, me, she didn't mean anything by it. There's nothing bigoted or racist about that at all. But let's just be real here. Chanel, what the fuck was that? See, I was a Chanel West Coast fan, not a fan of her music. I was a fan of her beauty and booty, but not of her music. But, speaking of butts, she got a nice butt. But the point is this, though, man. I thought that Jada, I mean, I thought Chanel West, Jada's fine as hell, too. But I thought Chanel was a, a beautiful chick. I, I'm just not really into her music. <laughs> but I like looking at the heifer. I mean, she put out a calendar. I'll buy that shit. I'll buy 50, 11 copies of it. But it really pissed me off that she said something like that. She's basically saying that gangsters, gangster equals black. Now, last I checked, <laughs> there's Italian gangsters, Mexican mafia. All that, like there's different groups of people who happen to have like real gangsters. It's like the Chinese triad, the Japanese Yakuza's. There's real gangsters out here. There are no black gangsters that I can name. I mean, I can name some corny gangs, some stupid gang members, some retards running around killing each other for crumbs, but, but they're not really gangsters. They're just assholes and retards. Now, as far as real gangsters are concerned, that's what these other groups of people are doing because they have real power, real economic power, and they, can, they have politicians that they're in the pocket of. You know, they're paying off the police. They do gangster things. Now, as far as these black people, running around with their pants sagging and some silly ass uh, corny bandanas murdering each other for quote unquote street cred or street credibility those motherfuckers aren't gangsters they're just retarded gang members so there are no black gangsters now I don't know how many of y'all saw this shit and were offended by it like I was most of you probably just didn't think shit about it at all because most of you don't think but I'm just saying this though I'm not saying that Chanel West Coast is racist I'm saying what she said was fucking racist and disgusting and this is why you need to be careful about who you let into your quote unquote culture. If so called rap music is so called black people, rather, a part of black people, so called black people's culture, then why is she being promoted or embraced at all whatsoever in this culture? If she's saying shit like that, that's really degrading and evil. Remember, gangsters murder people, gangsters commit acts of genocide warfare they sell drugs pimp women and children they human traffic they mutilate people they destroy communities they destroy lives for generations to come they're devils there's nothing uh, cool about being a gangster at all whatsoever and then to sit up there and say your race are gangsters and I think low of myself and I identify with that bullshit so don't worry, I'm just a, a ninja like you too, I guess. I don't feel as if, I don't feel anything warm from her saying that. I feel degraded. I'm not a fucking gangster. Are you crazy? That means you're the worst of the worst when it comes to criminals. That means you're a, a damn social deviant. Oh my God, how many of you guys heard her say that shit and didn't even think anything of it? Disgusting. I'm appalled. And I'm team pretty girl. And she's fine as hell. So you know she must have said something wrong if I'm up here speaking out against what she said. But anyways, this is all my opinion. I just wanted everybody else's opinion because, well, as you guys know, you see, you see where I'm at with this. Totally against what she said. But it doesn't mean that you are. So I need other people's opinions. Once again, I'm not calling Chanel West Coast racist. But what she said was definitely racist.
and degrading. And, and as far as like the stuff that a lot of black people tend to get mad at that people say, this has to be one of the most disgusting and offensive things I've ever heard a non quote unquote black person say about so-called black people has to be one of the worst. I would have to say within the top five and it, 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 you know, it's stuff like that subtly racist stuff like that. Cause it, it sounds as if she's trying to say, you know, well, since listen, I'm a gangster, or you're a gangster and we're just awesome gangsters. And, and that shit is cute. It, it's not whether you realize it or not. She she's exploiting black male death black genocide which is basically black men dying and at the end of the day a so-called black gangster so-called won't have the opportunities that she has they won't be on ridiculousness and all this other shit that she's doing unless they achieve some sort of iconic status or something like that and then their stardom was being used to promote the show or whatever but she got put on that show which made her famous it was that show if i'm not mistaken it is how ridiculousness on mtv is how she ended up becoming a celebrity not her music she's actually known for the show a lot of people were like wait a second chanel west coast raps a lot of people didn't even know that so with that said most black male so-called gangsters would not have the opportunity to start out on an mtv show like that now, if they were famous for something else, maybe they would be invited on the show. But to be given that sort of platform and opportunity in order to basically obtain fame and create an audience for yourself, you know, most so-called black men would never be given that chance. But anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? <laughs> I'm just an asshole with a microphone. And I was I, listen, like I'm watching the show right now. I literally stopped the show to record this right now. I'm actually on that part where they were at the Safari Coconut Oil event. Safari sitting there next to Nikki Madaris, as I like to call her, Nikki Madar ass, <laughs> because she has all that ass. You know, Brooke Valentine was waving the feather at Jade, and the Chanel West Coast stepped in. I'm on that scene right, Ninja, now. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about it all below. Am I on to something here, or am I tripping? Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit Meat Magazine. Blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine, Meat Magazine 7 on Google Plus, Meat Magazine blog and Instagram. Hit the notification button. It's right next to the subscribe button. Looks like a bell. Once you click that button, you'll be sent alert to be notified when the videos get posted. Jesus. Black Jesus. <laughs>